Hey, Isaiah, welcome to the Aggie Football Media Zoom. Got some questions for you. We'll start off with Jennifer Streeter from the Battalion. Hey, Isaiah, kind of building off of what Travis just asked Marvin and on a more humorous note, I was wondering if you had anything to elaborate on in regards to like Twitter and like a certain emoji, just because I know you personally also tweeted one out. So just wondering yeah. if you could tell us the joke there. Um, I don't really know anything about it. Uh... I kind of just did it because everybody else is doing it. So, yeah, that's all I really got on that situation. Any thoughts on what it was originally about? Or uh, no? I think it was about us playing Ohio State, but that obviously didn't happen. So. All right. And then on an unrelated note, what are your expectations for yourself and the running game this Saturday? Um, just being consistent like we have been all season. Um, just coming out today and being focused on practice. And uh, I feel like We'll be we'll be fine on Saturdays. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go to Zach Taylor from WTAW and then Tyler Shaw. Yeah, Isaiah. Uh, with that being said, I mean, do you wish you guys could have played Ohio State last weekend? Um, <clears throat> I'm. Uh, it would have been a great game. Uh, they're a really good team. Um, I don't know if it would really would have happened, but uh, I wish we would have played Ole Miss this weekend. Actually, um, so. No, it's fun to talk about anyways. Yeah. Um, as you guys as you guys move forward, uh, you know, with your game, this has been a long drawn out season. I mean, going back to to spring practice and obviously the delays and the and the postponements. So how have you made sure that you've stayed fresh uh and that you're ready to go at the end of the year? Uh just uh just uh can you say the question again? I'm sorry. So it's been it's been a long season. I know that you've had a lot of breaks in between, but the fact that you've had to play in practice for so many weeks on end, yeah, how yeah. have you made sure that your legs and your body has stayed fresh? Uh, just treatment, a lot of treatment. Um, in the getting in the ice tub for me really has helped. Uh, I feel like practice has really helped us though a lot. We have gotten more practice time and more time to evaluate our opponents and uh, just get a better game plan. So I feel like it really has helped us and it's gave us time to heal up throughout the season, so. Thanks. Let's go to Tyler Shaw and then Chip Howard. Hey, Isaiah, is there any difference when you go and, and play on the road? And if so, what, what do you think this is gonna be like, uh, you know, this week at Tennessee, a place that you guys have you know never been to before? Uh, it's very different playing on the road. Um, you're in a hostile environment. Um, nobody's cheering for you. So you got to bring your own energy. Um, we just got to play together and be composed and uh, and play football in the best way we can each and every play. So. And I know you, you would have rather played Ole Miss this past week, but the fact that you, again, had a, another, you know, I guess, you know, week off, do you feel like you guys are more prepared to finish the season strong on Saturday? Uh, yeah, we are really more prepared. Uh, Coach Fisher has been really emphasizing on finishing. Um, so I feel like the whole team is really focused on this game and we're really pumped and ready to play. So, All right, let's go to Chip Howard from Sports Talk and then Brent. Isaiah, going back to road trips, how different have the stadiums been than when you were there a year ago and they were full? Yeah. How, how much difference do you think that's made? Um. It made it. I don't really know if it's made a lot of difference, but uh, it, used, it used to be louder. That's for sure. Um, more fans. Uh, it kind of got you more hyped for the game. Um, but it's still football, and you still got to go out there and play. So I don't think it's really affected us. Sometimes on the road, if 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 a if the home team makes a good play or if there's yeah. a turnover or something, you can feel the momentum kind of shift in the stadium. Mm -hmm. Has that been different this year with fewer people in the stands? Um, actually, no, it really hasn't. Um, I feel like every every game we went to, the fans for the other for the other opponents have really came out and showed um, their support for their team. So I feel like it was really loud in all of all our away games. Pretty. Thanks. You're welcome. Next up is Prince Werderman from the Houston Chronicle, and then Owen Buchanan. Isaiah, with information right at y'all's fingertips all the time, but you're still in the regular season. How do y'all go about ignoring any college football playoff chatter or anything like that along those lines since you're still in the regular season as well? 
Um, we just worry about practice today. Um, Coach Fisher told us not to worry about that. That's um, that's just all noise and that's all the clutter. And we're really knocking out the clutter and just focusing on us as a team and just keep playing every week. So. That's this question last week, but I'll ask it for you. Some of the guys have yeah. said that practices are more intense, harder than games at games. You almost look forward to games to get away from practices. Would that be <laughs> accurate to say? And how so? Uh, yeah, the practice is really harder than the games. Uh, Coach Fisher really has an up-tempo practice. So you're always running, you're always doing something. You're never walking on the field. Um, so yeah, the games really just, it's kind of like a, um, <laughs> it's kind of like a, a, a off day, but um, I'm sorry. No, uh, I got you. Just yeah, you easier know I mean. than practices, sure. Yes, sir. Thank you, Isaiah. All right, let's go to Olin Buchanan from Texas and then Justin. Isaiah, um, did the uh, I get did, did did the LSU beating Florida uh, get y'all's attention because y'all are playing also a team that everybody would expect y'all to beat, or did y'all even need a reminder that you have to be careful? Um, yeah, that really showed us that uh, you can get beat by anybody any week, so. Our focus has to go up, and I know Tennessee is going to be very hyped to play us, um, and so are we. So we just got to go out there and play our hardest, and uh, we can't let up at all. And one one more thing for you. Um, so is uh, that thousand yard mark and trying to get there? Is that him and and maybe uh, possibly even leading the SEC in rushing? Is that something that's important to you, or is it something you don't even think about at all? Um, I try not to think about it, but it would be a good accomplishment for me. Um, that's what I tried to do. Um, so I feel like I'm not worried about it. I'm going to just try to play. But I say that now, but in the game, I'm, I'm going to be trying to get get to 1,000. So, okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, we got a couple more questions. We'll go to Justin Wooder from CAGS and then wrap up with Travis Brown. Hey, Isaiah, a lot of the – questions today have been about, you know, what's the biggest difference on the O-line? Uh, so I'll just kind of ask it to you. What's the biggest difference in your game this year as a sophomore, bud? Um, I feel like the game really just slowed down for me. Um, I feel like I'm very more confident. Um, my O-line is really good this year. Um, they've really been doing their job. Thankful for those guys. Um, so I feel like it's just a combination of us maturing and um, us just knowing our assignments and us executing every play. So I feel like we've really just matured a lot um, this year, so. And a quick follow up if I could, what what's it like when the running game is going so good like it was against Auburn? Mm -hmm. Is Jimbo just saying, I'm gonna keep feeding you until they can stop it? Is that his mentality? And not just you, but uh, obviously a chain is doing his thing and an ice gets back there and obviously when he's on the slot, but is that kind of Jimbo's mentality? Like we're gonna run it until they stop it? Yeah, that, that is his mentality, and uh, that's our mentality, too. Um, I feel like when we get the run game going, we're pretty hard to stop because then we can hit you with the pass. So we are all around a good team, but when our run game is going, we're pretty, we're pretty hard to stop. All right, we'll wrap it up with Travis Brown from the Eagle. Yeah, Zay, I know uh, we were talking about the offensive line, line there. It's, um... What, what have you seen in, in, in their their improvement helps open stuff up? And how important has Kenyon Green's development been to to uh, making all that happen on, on the off line? Um, Kenyon has really matured. Uh, he's really been there since day one. He's been starting since the first game. So he's had a lot of experience. I feel like experience has really helped him. And I feel like experience has helped our line. Um, a lot of those guys have played in a lot of the games. And I feel like those guys just their confidence is a sky high and they're ready to play and they come to work every day. They don't take no days off. So they're all deserving of what they're getting this year. And uh, we're just going to keep going. With, with, the, with the making all the, the, the issues that that caused y'all over the offseason, is it a little bit of a surprise to you that, you that they've been able to make the, these huge strides without having spring ball, without having a normal summer work, workout? Period? Um, no, not really, because I've seen the work those guys put in every day. Um, so it wasn't no surprise. I was just really happy that that, was, that those guys got rewarded for the hard work. And um, I'm grateful for them. Thanks. You're welcome. 
All right, that's all the questions we have for you, Isaiah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Isaiah.